The NFL has announced that they are reducing the preseason for the 2020 NFL season to just two games. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports all back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about this breaking news and give my quick thoughts and analysis on this. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you have not already, I do drop daily videos, weekly videos. You don't want to miss out and follow me, guys, on my social media. Links down below as always to be notified every time or reach out to me and, and whatnot. Okay, so go ahead and do so. Let's talk about the impact of the reduction of preseason games. Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, let me just say I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, folks, because again, we are in a weird time right now where we are dealing with an ongoing pandemic, and that is going to literally impact every single aspect of our lives, including, of course, sports. And we've already seen how it has impacted other sports in the NFL is no different. So uh, obviously with preseason getting reduced, the reasoning behind it is that already teams have lost so much practice time uh, during the offseason that they need more time to ramp up for the regular season. And so they're going to scrap two games in the preseason. By the way, those games are going to be games one and games four. And they're going to play games two and three of the preseason. And like I said, I'm not surprised at all. I think this is the right decision. And by the way, just for moving forward purposes, I think the NFL preseason should always be two games. Four games is way too long. You don't need four preseason games. In college football, you don't even have any preseason games. So in the NFL, I don't know why you need four of them, okay? The only reason, again, I guess is, you know, monetary-wise, more money. The point being is you don't need four. Two is fine. And so from that aspect, I'm totally okay with it. Uh, the NFL, you know, get going to two preseason games in fact i think that's what they should have moving forward but one other thing i do want to point out about this okay is the nfl has been very reactive instead of proactive to this pandemic and that's something that concerns me look i still believe the season's happening 99.9 percent. .9%. i do think it's happening but i wish the nfl would come out and just start giving out some guidelines on what's going to happen here are they going to have fans at the uh, arenas or not are they going to have testing tracing like where is the plan here the nba which is resuming their season you know this month they they came out with a full comprehensive plan they had like a 113 page manual like what is the nfl doing here and so i want the nfl to be more proactive than reactive i'm glad they made this decision with preseason because like i said four preseason games is way too long to me but I need them to start stepping it up in the other areas as well. Hey, and let me switch over real quickly to how this impacts teams in general. And then, of course, the Bears, okay? So every team is losing um, quality time for those bubble guys, right? Those guys that are at the fringe roster spots and that the preseason is really for those guys to showcase that they should be making the roster. That part hurts. Got it. But again, we're dealing with unprecedented times. Um, and especially with the Bears, this is going to hurt the fact that uh, they will lose time to be able to evaluate Mitchell Trubisky and Nick Foles, both of their uh, quarterbacks that are going to be in an ongoing battle up until the first week of the regular season. And so, um, you know, now you probably have to give them both, what, a game, right? You got to give Mitch a full game and Nick Foles a full game, evaluate that. I don't know, maybe give a half a game in every game and, and and so you kind of do it like that like Mitch plays a half and then Nick Foles plays a half in a game and then same thing for the next game so again Matt Nagy's gonna have to get creative here okay as will every other NFL coach but especially Matt Nagy because he's dealing with an ongoing quarterback decision quarterback battle and so uh, we need to obviously have a starting quarterback going into week one of the NFL season and so that hurts the Bears that hurts the Bears because again preseason was going to be I believe a lot uh, to do with deciding that and Matt Nagy had come out and said that he was going to play his starters in the preseason last season he didn't do so and he regrets it and this season he said he is going to play the starter so again um, I don't think it's great for the Bears because of the quarterback battle but overall I like the change because again I don't think you need four preseason games uh, but yeah, like I said, my, my bigger issue is the NFL needs to be more proactive with the pandemic and needs to start ramping up and, and understand what they need to do, right? Because again, 
uh this thing doesn't look like it's just gonna you know disappear overnight go away you got to be able to prepare and i want the nfl to do so so let me know what you guys think about the nfl scrapping away two preseason games um i'm for it but it does hurt the bears obviously because of their quarterback situation but let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree as always thanks for watching